should you have a business partner. I'm Nate, I'm the Fit Future MD, uploaded Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Pick up the free copy of the Nutrition and Workout Guide in the description below. I'm currently down 47 pounds. And if you're interested in how I did that, pick up the free copy of the Nutrition and Workout Guide in the description below. I'm the owner of Insercell, Insercell's family. Together we rise up from humble beginnings to inspire others all over the world with the messages on our t-shirts. Wear your inspiration today and use code FITFUTUREMD for 20% off. So <clears throat> I'm going to con continue on with our, uh, you know, building the brand series, basically what I'm doing to build my brand. Um, uh, and that's Fifth Future MD as a brand and Intercell as a brand. So it's like two separate brands, right? Um, but basically the idea is, you know, Fit Future MD basically builds your health, wealth, you know, uh, basically mind, body, spirit uh, type deal, right? And Intercell is basically going to inspire you, you know, the back end of Fit Future MD to inspire you to, you know, wear your inspiration basically to to change the all the negativity around you into positivity, right? And, you know, it seems like a, a lofty goal, right, to, to change the world like that. But so continuing on, you know, starting a business, should you partner in a business, right? Well, I think, well, number one, I partnered with my wife on my business, right? Well, she wasn't my wife at the time when I started the business. She was not even my fiance yet. She was just my girlfriend, right? So I partnered with her. Her name is on the business, right? Now, there's several different reasons that I did that. You know, number one, you know, I knew who she was and I knew, um, you know, that she would make a good business partner. But, you know, there's also tax reasons, made it a partnership. So a K-1 type thing and not a sole proprietorship, you know, all kinds of tax ramifications that come to that, right? Whereas, you know, an, another reason that, you know, I decided to, to have a partnership is because, you know, different people are good at different things, right? Um, so not a, that's partnership and owner, you know, ownership, right? Well, so if you open an insurance business, you have a contract to sell someone else's insurance, right? Someone else actually fulfills the insurance for you, right? So same thing with, you know, a clothing line or, uh, you know, your skill may not be in video editing or, you know, whatever. So Fit Future MD is mostly a YouTube channel, mostly Instagram, you know, social media, basically trying to help people, you know, with their finances, with their mental health, with relationships, with uh, diet and exercise, right? So, and basically, you know, on Fit Future MD, I can only talk about what I'm actually successful at, right? So. I couldn't talk about investing until I was successful at investing, right? I couldn't talk about losing weight until I actually successfully lost weight, right? And I couldn't talk about relationships until I actually had a successful relationship, right? So, you know, that kind of stuff. But uh, so, so say you weren't good at video editing, you might partner with somebody that is good at video editing, right? Um, say, I, you know, in, say you're terrible at making a t-shirt, right? Well, you might partner with somebody, you know, a local screen printer, you know, most people are going to China now with their, with their stuff, you know, you know, getting their stuff sent over on a ship and then selling it. Right. And it started in California a long time ago, Chinese knockoffs and stuff like that. But but the point is, if you're, you know, if you're good at something, you do what you're good at, right? And you may need to partner with other people um, to basically make your business successful, right? You need to partner with other people, right? So, um, 
there's not one billionaire on the planet that is a solo billionaire, right? That made some software and that software ran itself, right? They had to hire employees. Um, let's say most billionaires own, you know, very little, probably 10 to 12% of their companies, right? They don't even, you know, they don't even own the full thing anymore, right? And some entrepreneurs were fired from their companies, right? Like the board fired them, you know, Steve Jobs is a big example of that, right? <clears throat> so you got to keep all that in mind when you're starting a business, right? So um, I would say the biggest thing, you know, is are you an extrovert or are you an introvert when it comes to partnerships, right? So <clears throat> I am considered like someone that's in between, like I'm an extrovert to people that I know, but I'm an introvert when I don't know someone. But, you know, so I would really want to partner with somebody that is highly introverted, that just wants to be, say, in the back room making product or in the back room editing a video, right? They don't want to necessarily be the ones that are on camera. They don't want to necessarily be the ones that are out in the community, you know, promoting the product, right? Um, because I am technically extroverted, right? And my wife is technically extroverted, right? So, you know, with Intercell, I would obviously partner with somebody that loves to make things, right? That they're, they are the introvert. They are the, the person that, you know, is attention to details and, and stuff like that. That's somebody that I would partner with, right? But, you know, it would, when you go to partner with somebody like that, it looks like, hey, they're doing all the work when, you know, you're just using what you're good at, right? So a big example of this is Robert Kiyosaki, right? Robert Kiyosaki is the extrovert, right? He's the one that goes out and is promote, promote, promote. You know, he starts with his education business and gets everybody into that funnel, right? So that you're investing in real estate, using his partners, using his lawyers, and using his accountants, you know, the whole nine yards. Where as Ken McElroy, you know, his main business partner, you know, in all these real estate deals, he is the one that's the introvert. He is the one that is behind the scenes doing all the management, you know, for the, for his actual real estate company, what actually made him rich. Right. And so when you put partners like that together, you have success. Right. And, um, the danger of having the partner like that is the one that does all the work in the background, you know, may have more knowledge and skill and may be able to just steal everything from you, right? So, and that happens a lot and you'll hear a lot in entrepreneurship about, oh, I got cheated because of a partner, right? Or vice versa, the one that's the extrovert, you know, was able to do something to cheat the introvert out of the out of the business, right? But usually the, usually the introvert, the one doing all the all the work in the background, you know, is the one that's most important, but obviously, you know, everybody can be replaced, you know, even in entrepreneurship. So Steve Jobs got replaced, everybody can be replaced. So no matter what you're in, and I think that's why there's a big push for entrepreneurship now is because you know, Basically, you know, you, no company are, you're ever actually um, safe in, right? You can always be replaced in a company. And people are like, well, if, if I'm going to put my heart and soul into something, I'm at least going to put my heart and soul into something that I own myself, right? That's how, you know, I think that's why there's a huge push for entrepreneurship, right? Even in people that aren't entrepreneurs in their mind, entrepreneurs in their heart, right? Because basically you have to be those, those people that the main entrepreneur has to be that person that can put together the deal and promote the deal, right? You know, the introvert's probably not going to be the one, you know, to be successful. They are, you can be successful. You can be successful in business as an introvert, but you have to, you have to get over your introvertedness and do the steps to promote your products, right? And a lot of, and 
being early on ads and stuff like that have helped a lot of introverts, you know, become successful because they could just make an ad and the ad did the, the extrovert work, work for them, right? So, you know, keep that in mind, no matter what you are, you can be successful. It's just gonna take a little bit more steps, whereas some things just come natural to people, like, you know, promoting a product, you know, for some people, you know, picking up the phone saying, hey, J Bobby, you know, hey, you know, I just made this uh, collection of t-shirts. You wanna check it out? I'm gonna send you one. Um, I'll give you the rock bottom price, you know, to give me a review, you know, stuff like that. Um, but some people just don't have that in them to call their friend and say, hey, I'm, you know, check this out. What do you think of it? Or, you know, that type deal, right? So, um, so the biggest thing between the extrovert and the introvert is, is building the audience, right? The introvert is going to have a harder time building an audience, but can build an audience with more volume and doing the steps, right? More volume can even allow an introvert to be successful in business now, especially marketing, special social media, right? You have to connect with people that have advantages that you don't, right? So say you're not a good looking person, like you are you may not be the one that's modeling your stuff, right? You may have to hire that, that partner with somebody that is beautiful, you know, that somebody would say, oh, and stop and look, at least check out your brand, right? Um, you know, some people, you know, beauty is obviously in the eye of the beholder. So, you know, you may think you're good looking, but you know, people really may not think you're good looking, right? It may not stop. Say, oh, big old chunky man. All right, moving on. <laughs> you know, so just keep that in mind. Um, so this is my thoughts on partnership, right? So I obviously did a partnership and... Um, you know, I do believe that that is the correct choice, right? Because there are, as an entrepreneur, I bring together the deal and I have people execute the deal for me, right? That's, that's what entrepreneurship is. Now, when I, when I'm, you know, first starting out, you know, I'm not the, you know, I might be the entrepreneur of one and that's okay. But your mindset's got to shift where, hey, I'm not doing this anymore. I've made the steps that people can follow and I hire somebody to follow it or I partner with somebody to follow those steps, right, to success. So keep that in mind. We're making a business. You know, we're not uh, an employee that of our own business that does everything, right? So, you know, keep that in mind. I'm Nate. I'm the Fit Future MD. Um, make sure you share this video with somebody that needs it. If somebody's starting a business or starting a business or thinking about partnering with somebody, you know, share this video with them. Um, comment down below. Let me know uh, any questions that you have. Um, shop at answersale.com. Wear your inspiration today, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.